What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Witches Festival. It starts on October the 24th and runs until November the 6th. Of course, during this event, you will get a 100% XP boost. That is a passive boost. You do not have to have the Witch Mother's Whistle anymore to you know, start that XP boost. But if you have not played the game you know, in past years and you would like to get that Witch Mother's Whistle, you can still do that by opening up the Crown Store and acquiring the free quest, the Witch Mother's Bargain. But just remember that 100% XP boost uh, at all times will be passive while the event is going on. During the Witch's Festival event, you can earn, uh, or whenever you defeat a boss monster, you will earn a Plunder Skull, which contains you know, some items for the Witch's Festival plus regular rewards. So you can get things like uh, alchemy material, a festive themed furnishing rec uh, recipe, a festive themed provisioning recipe, a complete festive themed furnishing, uh, a festival themed sellable treasure, a small chance at a Hallowjack style item, a Dramora style item, worms, crawlers, of course, guts, or insect parts. Uh, what's more, whenever you fail a unique boss type for the first time each day, you'll be rewarded instead with a, a special Dramora plunder skull that contains some of the above items in addition to the uh, Witches Festival writs, treasure maps, uh, armor outfit styles, the Crowborn Hunter outfit style, the new Plunder Skull Blunder Memento Rune Box, uh, the Horned Owl Pet Fragment, and also some tradable style pages uh, or some outfit style pages as well. Both varieties of Plunder Skulls are offered by Arena Bosses, Incursion Bosses from Dark Anchors, Harrow Storms, events etc delve bosses final dungeon bosses trial bosses public dungeon bosses world bosses so there's a lot of different ways you can get this and of course some things inside of infinite archive which will be new this year since the infinite archive has not been in the game in the past there are two additional plunder skulls acquire uh, acquirable by those brave or foolish enough to face the worst of the witches festival horrors the first of these Frightful Fiends, the Crowborn, uh, returns to Tamriel to bedevil its, uh, of course, everyone, to locate and slay this living nightmare, acquire the daily quest, plucking the crow by speaking to the Witch Mother. For uh, your courage, the first time you overco uh, overcome the Crowborn uh, and turn in that quest each day, you'll be rewarded with a Dramora Plunder Skull as well. These creepy containers have a small chance to grant you an incredible offering of tradable Witches Festival values instead of the regular, uh, the regular Dramora Plunder Skull items. A full style book of the Dramora motif, a uh, folly of treasure maps, all ten horned owl pet fragments, the Plunder Skull Blunder Rune Box, and all of the outfit style pages from the or the all of the Revenant outfit style pages. If the Crowborn does not daunt you, you won't test your fearlessness against the master of, monstro um, of monstrosities. Uh, I'll get that out here in a second. And the sovereign of spookiness, Lord Hallowjack himself. You can acquire the quest to challenge him uh, located inside the brewery. Once you've completed this quest at least once on a given character, you can take it again to the uh, on you know certain days and skip ahead to the challenge to unlock Hallowjack directly should you should you emerge victorious against the daedric lord you'll find the quest reward each day grants a special dramora plunder skull unique to lord Hallowjack. it has a chance to contain a jackpot like uh, that from the crowborn and it awards a special achievement and trophy furnishing uh, of course to commemorate your victory a matching collectible uh, bust furnishing can sometimes be acquired from looting Lord Hallowjack himself. Of course, during this uh, during the event, we will have the event vendor and tickets. During the uh, Witches Festival, you can collect two event tickets from the first boss you defeat each day, earning up to 28 tickets by the end of the event. Of course, as always, you only can hold it, uh, 12 event tickets at a time, so make sure that you're spending those and not you know, getting to 12 because you won't be able to earn any more and you will just lose them if you already have 12 in your inventory. For this event, the event vendor will have all three Molog Ball Illusion Imp pet fragments, the first two fragments for the Haven of the Five Companions House, of course, the Revenant Outfit Style, the Horned Owl pet fragments, the assorted Spooky Witch Festival themed furnishings, 
uh, group repair kits, companion guild commendations, uh, the skeletal memento, the specter mass collectible. Uh, there are four variations, of course, of that co uh, collectible and some other collectibles like the apple bobbing uh, collectible, the witch's bone uh, fire dust and so on things we've had in the past. But if you've not played the witch's festival in the past, there's a lot of different mementos you can get throughout this. And the Witches Festival will be their first opportunity, like I said, to gain or be able to gather the fragments for the final event morphing collectible of 2024, the Haven of Five Champions House. Additionally, of course, the uh, uh, event vendor's colleague will be there. The Indrick uh, Feather vendor also will be there. So if you need any of that stuff, that will be available during the event as well. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're looking forward to the Witches Festival. This is one of the probably... There's a lot of events that go on in game. This is one of the neater ones, in my opinion, because there's a lot of cool stuff, usually in the store to purchase with real money or crowns, but also a lot of the rewards you get from the event itself are uh, very unique to the Elder Scrolls Online. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.